Hey everyone, how's it going? My name's James, and today I got a guide on GTA Online for secret and rare car locations. We're going to be going over a bunch of cars and stuff you may not have known about and where to find them. Now with that being said, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to support it by leaving a like, and also if you're new right here, make sure to subscribe for daily GTA 5 content. Last but not least, I'm doing a scuff controller giveaway. The info is down in the description below. Now first off, quickly, a little bit of general information to know. If you go to one of these locations and the car or vehicle is not there, I promise it still spawns there. Just drive around the map a little bit, give it another chance to spawn there. It may take a few tries, but eventually the vehicle will spawn there. And also, I am a little bit sick right now and I'm losing my voice, so please pardon the raspiness and all that. I really can't help it. Now, first vehicle we have is the Barracks. It's the giant military transport truck. I know you can buy it online on the website, but it's pretty expensive. You can actually get it for free. It's parked next to one of the ammunitions at the top left of the map in the small little city. I'll be showing the location on the map right now. It's pretty simple to get a hang of. You don't even have to break in. It's already unlocked. You can just simply get in, drive it away, pile a bunch of friends in the back, and have some fun online with it. Next up we have the Bulldozer, currently one of my favorite vehicles to mess around with, it's pretty hard to get to spawn actually, it only spawns at night for me personally, uh, if you go there at night or early in the morning, the Bulldozer should be there, and it's actually at the construction site in the small town, it's right up there, spawns at the ammunition, there's arm wrestling there and everything too, just simply mark it on your waypoint, head over there later at night or early in the morning, and the Bulldozer should be there, simply just hop in it, and what's cool about it is you can actually lift up cars, lift up people and definitely have some fun and go through some uh, shenanigans with your friends with it. Definitely a super fun vehicle to mess around with. I really have fun with this thing, driving up behind people and lifting up their cars with it. Next up we have the Granger. It's like an SUV. It looks kind of like the Chevy Tahoe. It also can be used as one of the undercover FBI vehicles. Now this isn't too too rare if you want to get it. You can either find it in a bunch of parking lots. I'll show you the parking lot where I usually seem to find it. And what's cool about it and what makes it unique is you can actually have players hop on the side of it, hold on to it, and shoot out of it. You just got to run up to the vehicle and get in and your character will actually hop onto the side of it. As you see right here on the road, me and my friends are doing it, driving around and shooting. It's something really fun to do. And while the vehicle isn't too rare, if you have trouble finding it, you can always get a four star wanna level and uh, you can see it and you can steal it from one of the FBI agents. After that we have the mercenary jeep and this one's pretty sick. It's kind of hard to get though. You have to have someone who's over level 35. They can call the mercenaries. Once the mercenaries come, the Meriwether mercenaries that is, have them call Meriwether on their phone and hire mercenaries and once they come, they'll get out of the car. You can kill them and take their Meriwether jeep. Now the problem with this is you can actually get a wanna level if the police are around and it can be pretty annoying. What's cool about the jeep is you can actually take it to your garage and make it your personal vehicle. It's pretty fun to mess around with and actually a pretty sick jeep once you get a hold of it and lose the wanna level. It is kind of hard to do about that but uh, just have your friend who's over level 35 Call the Meriwether mercenaries, they'll bring the jeep, kill them off, take the jeep, and uh, escape the police. And pretty much you're free to go and have fun with it, and then even make it your personal vehicle. And next up we have the Mega Dump Truck. This is probably one of the easiest vehicles to find. It's in the same spot in Campaign 2. Just head over to the quarry by Trevor's house. I'll even be showing it on the map right now. It's all parked all over. There's no specific location. They spawn randomly. They're parked all around the quarry. Simply just hop in one, drive it out. They are pretty slow, but it's fun to drive them into the city and uh, drive over people's cars with them. Definitely one of the biggest vehicles, if not the biggest car or truck in the game. Drive it in town, have fun with it, and that's really about it. It's a pretty simple vehicle to find, and definitely, even though it goes pretty slow, you can have a lot of fun with it. Next up, we have the Titan AC-130. Now, the problem with this is you actually have to complete the mission where you have to steal it with Lester. Once you steal the Titan AC-130 with Lester, it'll actually start spawning at the airport in the hangar. Pretty simple to do, and uh, once you complete that mission, it, it's there over and over again. Just ramp yourself into the airport, head over, and it'll be spawned in the open hangar, kind of by the corner of the airport, the top left corner of the map put a location there and uh, what's cool about the Titan is actually if you head over to the back by the corners and actually kick the door you hop on the Titan drive it forward a little bit and the door will actually lower itself you can back cars in there and also put a bunch of your friends in there it can hold up to th I think 10 or 11 people in the Titan at once so definitely a super fun vehicle have fun with it fly around some friends my favorite thing to do with the Titan is have someone back their car in there fly as high as you can over the city and then have them drive it up that's always fun to do that's really about it. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to support it with a like and also share it with a friend or two. Also, make sure to check out my secret and rare car location guide for single player. I have the link to that down in the description below. Make sure to follow my Twitter and like my Facebook for updates and access to exclusive giveaways. I'm doing a scuff controller and control free giveaway. Simply go down to the tweet in the description below, retweet that tweet, and follow my Twitter. That simple. Last but not least, if you're new around here, make sure to subscribe for daily GTA 5 content. I'm on the road to 100,000 subscribers. That's really about it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I apologize for my raspy voice. Have a great day. Erectile dysfunction is bad, but leaving a like on the video isn't. Whether you're hard or soft, make sure to slap that like button and subscribe while you're at it.